the Gauteng Premier is expected to announce a new health MEC. The Provincial Health Department has been without a full-time MEC for close to four months now. After Dr. Bandile Masugu was asked to take leave in July and then suspended in October and ultimately dismissed. Let's cross live now to our politics reporter. That's Zianda Ngobo. She is in Omonde and that's where the Gauteng Provincial Government is going to give a status update. I would want to think Zianda around COVID-19 and the preparedness of the province. But also high on the agenda is the expectation that the Premier might just announce a permanent health MEC. Most certainly, Koli, and you know that a big announcement is coming when you see staffers from several departments gracing the presence of, of a media briefing, such as the one that we're expecting to take place at 12 noon. Uh, the officials from the education departments, uh, staffers, of course, from the Premier's office, as well as the health departments. Of course, we're expecting a new health MEC to be announced after Dr. Bandile Masuko was asked to uh, step aside and the issue of stepping aside then only being critical going into that ANC NEC meeting this weekend and of course whatever happens there will obviously have an impact then on issues such as this one we know Koli that Dr. Bandi Masuk is still fighting firstly the findings of the ANC's Provincial Integrity Committee but also the SIU's preliminary findings upon which then David Makura based uh, his decision to ask Masuk to step aside and it's also very interesting then if the premier does announce a new health MEC uh, given the fact that the last time then uh, when he announced him actually asking him to step aside his suspension uh, he had said that he's suspending him pending the final outcomes of the special investigating units report that report hasn't been concluded so I'm yet to hear, we're yet to hear then from the premier upon which then uh, basis is he now uh, announcing a new Gauteng Health MEC, Koli. Uh, Zianda, it's a politically fraught situation. The Premier at some point was understood to be under pressure to announce this new or permanent MEC shortly after his dismissal of Bandile Masugu. But that is a decision that we understood that he did not really want to make because he still uh, was of the view that maybe Bandile Masugu might uh, possibly return to his position, but then politics intervened. Talk to us now about uh, the, the four names that are being bandied about. At least one of them is now at least known to the public. That is that of uh, Pakistan, who also happens to be a deputy minister. Am I right? Certainly, uh, Koli, and the issue of the politics of the ANC in Gauteng is very critical then for this announcement, particularly because at the time when the Gauteng Premier and the chairperson of Gauteng ANC, that's David Makura, made that announcement of Bandile Masuku's suspension, it was seen as though he was defending him and still giving space or giving him, uh, Masuku a lifeline to say you would probably still return uh, after then, uh, you know, Know, the the outcomes of the the SIU if they do clear your name now it's understood at this particular point from people that I've spoken to Koli that in fact the premier in his capacity as chairperson of Gauteng has actually been put under pressure to announce a new MEC of course he, we know the last time he had said that he's waiting for that SIU report it's not been concluded Dr Bandi Lemasuko has actually uh, taken that particular preliminary finding to court we know that he also commissioned a private investigator so that's Paul O'Sullivan to also investigate this matter, which found that he was absolved of any wrongdoing. Mm -hmm. And um, the, we understand that the SIU did not file an answering affidavit to that particular court proceeding of Dr. Bandile Masuku. So while that court process is unfolding, we understand that on the political side, there was a, there was a lot of pressure on Makura to make the announcements that we're going to be hearing today. I mean, in the, in the media advisory, it doesn't mention anything about a new health MEC being announced other than to say he's going to announce uh, new measures to strengthen um, 
you know, the COVID-19 response in Gauteng. And as you've rightfully mentioned, the name of a former uh, city of Johannesburg mayor, uh, Park Star, has been touted. Uh, other names have been touted. I think I, I, I'd, I'd rather err on the side of caution and not actually, um, you know, mention any names at this particular point in time. Mm. But certainly, uh, you know, we are expecting that announcement to take place, Koli. And I can tell you, uh, as a matter of fact, that the politics within the Gauteng ANC is what has led to this moment. So, which is why then it will be particularly interesting to hear how Makura will justify this move just before a very critical ANC NEC meeting this me this weekend, which is expected to discuss this issue of stepping aside. Because if then the uh, the legal advice that was given to the NEC says that there's no legal basis to ask ANC members to step aside, how will he justify then actually uh, firing Dr. Bandile Masuku and mm -hmm. hiring? a new MEC when his matter hasn't even been concluded within a court of law. Yeah, as Zianda, there's so many things to talk about when it comes to Gauteng. On the one hand, you have the Youth League that is refusing for its member in the legislature to make way for someone that they view as senior who ought to be appointed there so that uh, that next MEC, whoever it's going to be, is then uh, legally appointed to the position. But then you also have the secretary of the ANC here in Gauteng, uh, Jacob Kawe, embroiled in a matter that involves someone who is said to be his spouse soon, who has been awarded a tender. The, contra the company that at least she works for awarded a tender. She's CEO of this company and it was somewhat irregular how this company even got this tender in the first place. And so questions are being raised about, here's a member who is a family member of a senior uh, political figure, and we know the influence of uh, office bearers. How is it that Jacob Kawe has not been asked to go and respond to this, uh, to the Integrity Commission like others have done? And, and you see then, Koli, it then becomes difficult not to say that these issues work according to factional, factional lines and the factional battles that are unfolding within the Gauteng uh, ANC and the, the, uh, the lack of unity and, and, and really the battles that are taking place and the tensions that are taking place within the party. And hence I mentioned then at the time when Makura made that announcement that he was waiting for the final report, of course Bandile Masuku was one of his allies in the province. It was seen as though he was still giving him a lifeline. But the issue of consistency then also becomes critical when discussing how the party manages certain issues. As you've already mentioned, Jacob Hawe has not been asked to present himself before the Provincial Integrity Committee, despite Mandile Masugu doing so, despite him actually challenging the findings of that Provincial Integrity Committee report, which uh, had actually said that he did not conduct himself in the manner in which they expect an ANC deployee to conduct themselves. Mm. Now, and, and this is also the battle that the, the conversation and the debate within the party about what happens on a legal front and what actually happens and managing the politics of the party and to quote then the Deputy Secretary General Jesse Duarte who said that this issue of charging someone is almost becoming a game particularly at a local government level where officials are charged you have them step aside, have them removed from their positions and yet sometimes they haven't been formally charged or they actually their matter it's unclear when their matter will be concluded all the while then they have legal obligations such as how long you can be absent for the, from the legislature for an example that they must actually live up to so again I must emphasize then it will be interesting to hear who this new health MEC is uh, is and the person who's going to be announced but also how then Makura is going to justify why he has not given Masuko an opportunity to clear his name first before actually replacing him Zianda Mobo, well put there. Uh, thanks indeed for that update. She is in Omonde uh, waiting at the start of that media briefing by the Gauteng Premier. And I can tell you that uh, on this show, we have relentlessly been trying to get the Gauteng ANC, in particular uh, the secretary of the party in Gauteng, um, uh, Mr. Kawe, Jacob Kawe, to come and respond, at least put... Uh, these issues to bed, if you will, and uh, it has been 
uh, difficult to try and get him at least to commit to coming through. So hopefully we will get him at some point.